Uh, hello, and welcome to another classic pauper deck. Uh, with my last video on Bully, I realized that uh, Prismatic Strands is actually very good in the format. So I was trying to think of another deck that managed to like use it to a decent capability, like being able to discard it easily so you don't have to pay the three cost. And that instantly brought me back to Tribe. So this is the blue-white tribe list that I believe it's EHDM used to run in the pauper challenges a couple of months ago. They were the only one running it for a while, and they kept like doing decently well, <laughs> even against me when I was on Turbo Fog. Uh, managed to get a couple of top 16s. Uh, the only changes I've made is I added another Thraben Inspector in because I wanted to be able to actually flash back at the strands without using a tribe to do so. So I wanted another white creature. Uh, I cannot remember what I cut. So <laughs> use use that to your will. Uh, so might have been a, the third archaeologist. So I just swapped a blue creature for a white creature that can trip. So uh, yeah, so let's go through the deck. So the idea of the deck is uh, you have Tyler's tribe. It's a one mana one one. Don't worry about it. Just... It won't do anything bad. No, okay, so the whole point of it is uh, you make its toughness big and then you flip it with inside out, uh, which makes it a large powered attacker. So all you need is five cards in hand. That makes it 21 toughness. You flip it. Well, you can cast inside out. You draw the cards. Then you still got five cards in hand. Discard them all. It becomes a 21-1, uh, and then they die. So you usually run Wedding Invitation, as the way to get through. So it just makes a creature can't be blocked until end of turn. Uh, they've been running this instead of um, uh, slip through uh, sh uh, the thing that gives shadow, shadow rift, uh, gives shadow draw cut, just because it saves you one mana on the combo turn. So two mana, you can trip, and then later on you can make your tribe unblockable without requiring the use of uh, one blue mana which is very handy on those combo turns, especially when you've got stuck drawing all three of your planes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, but sometimes uh, you may ask, how do you manage to do it? How do you manage to, like, always keep five cards in hand? You need to be able to, like, play cards, like Tireless Tribe, and counter their spells to be able to uh, make it get through. Well, this is where Whiteout comes in, the random green card in the blue-white deck. Uh, so you never cast this card. This card is just there to be able to turn your lands into cards in hand. So all this does is uh, you can sacrifice a snow land, which is why I'm running all snow-covered lands, to be able to turn it from your graveyard to your hand. So if you ever need a reason to discard a card, always discard this first, unless you're scared of graveyard hate. But it doesn't really matter because you can just, if they lose a Bajooka Bog or whatever, you can just sack a land to bring it back and then discard it again later. Uh, so yeah, it turns... So if you have five lands out, that's the 20 toughness you need to be able to kill them. Or if they've been gaining life, it gives you that extra reach that you need to be able to kill them. Uh, we're running two. You only ever need one, but we're running two because sometimes things get exiled and you need to be able to draw them at some points. So I've always thought two was weird, but I've come around after playing the deck for a little bit. Uh, cantrip Suite. So four Preordain because Preordain's the best cantrip there is. Uh, three ponder, two brainstorm. Unsure on the correct configuration of this, uh, because we're running seven fetch lands, which helps brainstorm not be terrible, because you can shuffle away so you don't brick yourself. Uh, and these all help fix the mana that you need, like be able to get the white early and the like, be able to get your white one white early to be able to like cast tribe and then get a blue to cast pretty much everything else. Uh, the what else have we got? So that's the cantrip suite. Uh, so the other, so the, the fodder, as I like to call them, uh, we have Thraben Inspector, best white one drop there is, other than Tyler's tribe. Uh, replaces itself, which is what you need to be able to keep your hand full to make the tribe be able to kill. Mainly in here because it flashes back from that prismatic strands. Uh, I can also see people running um, Squadron Hawk. I used to run Squadron Hawk. Just the amount of. Um, because it draws you three cards when you cast one of them. But early time, early game, you usually have cards in hand, so you don't want to cast a Squadron Hawk early, but you don't want to draw it early. 
it's there's a clash there. Like it also works well with brainstorm, but then we will probably want more brainstorms. So it's it's a whole different build entirely, the Squadron Hawk one. So we're sticking with Thraven Inspector, uh, because of and the festivities. I just want a creature that'll survive doing one damage to everything. Uh, and we've also got Falaji, Falaji Archaeologist. Uh, it's here to make the brainstorms better. So you can just put some bad cards like Whiteout or Prismatic Stands on top of your library, mill them away to be able to try to get something better after a brainstorm. If not, it helps fill your graveyard for circular logic to make it a hard counter. Uh, and it's there to eat up edicts. <laughs> uh, we've seen all these cards. I've talked about strands. It's there to help protect your tribe from burn spells. So you try to like flash it back first to prevent all red. And then if they try to burn it, you can puff its toughness, stuff like that. Uh, circular logic is the counter spell that you want because it buffs this for four and it only costs one and it's almost a hard counter graveyard hate does hurt a little bit but it's still the best thing you can get uh also run a couple of spell pierce because if terror has taught us anything spell pierce has just it's so annoying <laughs> and it gets everyone every time uh and too deep analysis because sometimes you just need more cards and it's the best way to draw the most amount of cards, I guess. Uh, on to sideboard. So sideboard has Crimson Acolytes for the red decks, Obsidian Acolytes for the black decks, to be able to just one white mana and these out just protect the tribe against so much. Uh, we will get to the red bit in a second. Uh, Hydra Blast. If you're playing blue, you're playing four, if not eight of these effects. Red is everywhere. Uh, Dispel. Uh, for the black decks, you need to stop cast down somehow. Dispel is the cheapest way to do it. Uh, and then we've got, because we've got seven fetch lands, uh, we are running a one mountain to be able to flaring paint against Fogtron and Turbo Fog, because it's very hard to beat them otherwise. And Electricery, because Mono Blue is this deck's almost worst matchup, because everything you cost is cheap. You can't kill any of their fairies they'll just keep beating in i mean you got little grand fellas to be able to block the ninjas but them just being able to recur spell starter sprite is just so painful that you need to try to get rid of them so that's what they're in for uh yeah so that's the deck uh let's see if we can tribe some people out because uh it's literally the only win condition tribe you can try and beat them down with one ones but it doesn't really work so we'll see how we do all right, round one with Tribe uh, against friend of the channel, Heisen. Uh, if you haven't subbed to his channel, go do it. It may be in another language, but the content's still good. Uh, this doesn't have much card draw, but it's got two lands, or well, like preordained ponder fixing. It's like it's got the Tribe, it just needs the inside out because it's got Tribe and unblockable, so we can keep. I think I'll just... It depends what I draw. I'll probably just play the land pass and then cycle that for a planes. End of turn. Ooh, gardens is going to be rough. Yeah, draw a land. Uh, I'll do that on their turn. So I've got to try to avoid edicts. Oops, I forgot to cycle. It doesn't matter. It makes them not know what I'm on. Brainstorm's fine. It's pretty good with the Ash Barons, actually. Dispute. Don't want to dispute. Ooh, are we initiativing? Don't 
Dark Ritual's interesting. Ooh, and he cut lands to do so. Interesting. Whiteout's fine, but they can just get binned, so let's brainstorm. Uh, put back... I guess I'll put back Whiteout and Preordain. And then I'll play the Archaeologist. I'll mill the top three and I'll get back the Preordain. That's fine. If they've got the snuff out, that's going to be rough. Ponder first. Um, all of these are fine. I think I'm going to take the Throbin Inspector because I'm still scared of the Edict. And then we'll get the planes. Play the Throbin Inspector and then Preordain. Another counter spell is fine. Next turn, I can just slam a deep analysis, I guess. Deadly dispute. Oh, okay. Hey, he's got the lane there. Okay. I will take the zero. Much begrudgingly. Uh, I guess I preordain. Or do I? Yeah, I preordain. I've got to see if I can find the... Um, oh, another counter spell. Guess we can take another counter spell. Uh, now, I want to draw a card. All right, well, it's a that's a lot of. Uh, do I just play the... I think I do. I'll just play the Wedding Invitation. That's not great. Uh, looks like I'm deep analysing next turn. Uh, okay. Crit Rex makes it a bit harder. So let's just draw some cards. Oh. Yeah, I'll keep up the white. Another wedding invitation. Well, I don't want to play the tribe into nothing. So I'll just pass. And I'll have to discard... And I guess an inside out. I only need one. At this point, all I need is the uh blacksmith skill uh 
Okay. We're running a bit low on solutions here. Just drop the initiative. That's fine. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I don't need four circular logic. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, let's deep analysis. Archaeologist. I guess I can do that on their turn. I gotta, I gotta play the tribe now. And they'll play the archaeologist as well. And there's the blacksmith skill. So now I have what I need for next turn. We'll just see if the tribe survives. Alright, I've only got one counter spell left now. That's fine. All right, just have one removal spell, please. That is all I ask. Only one. Because all I've got to do is like try to get its toughness above the amount of blank sources they've got first. And then I could blacksmith skill. Yeah, uh, that's fine. Ugh, that's not great. So I need to bring this back now. Because that's going to be the way I win. Uh, the rest can go. Alright. Hopefully no more counters. Hope no more removal spells. Uh, it needs to be three. And if they've got another edict, then... Yeah, well... We tried. Ah, I forgot about the Lanawa Visionary. Okay, I'll scoop to that. I forgot about it the turn before, too, about the cast down. So all I had to do was discard another circular logic, I guess. And then I had the, I had the kill on board. Oh, well, so we bring in Acolytes, take out one Inspector, one Strands, because they're going to be bringing in a pile of Graveyard Hate. And I think that's probably good enough.
I'll keep spell pierce for the edicts. Yeah, we'll go with that. Maybe because of the edicts, maybe I do want the Thraven Inspector as well. And just take out the strands, because I don't think my graveyard's going to be full at all. Which makes circular logic worse, but I mean, I found a way to make circular logic bad. I just did not see the untapped mana dork. Oh, it feels so bad. Uh, double whiteout is not great. I'll have to mulligan this. Uh, tribe, inside out, spell pierce, pretty brand slam. Seems great. Put back the strands. I just need to find a white source. And then, like, Try plus spell pierce in one turn. Uh, I'll brainstorm because I can ponder shuffle away if I need to, which it looks like I'm going to have to. Logic's fine. I'll just put back these two for now. I'm going to draw one of them anyway. Come on, land. No land. I've got a any order and shuffle. And we get there. Okay. We'll get a white. Problem is, is they got a blocker. <laughs> they didn't have the plant token. I would just be like, tribe, hold up spell pierce, and then kill them on the next turn. Uh, I guess we... Archaeologist? Don't need white out. Take the inside out. It's fine, and then probably bounce the Bajuka Bog. Also dawdled around too long trying to Oops. I needed the lens anyway. Uh let's tribe. And then hope it lives. Uh, I am going to spell pierce this because I do not want them to have the extra mana. Oh, another plant. That's the worst. Okay, well, we'll tackle the tribe. They gotta block it. And we play another one. Uh I guess I'll attack with both. They can take it. I just need one more mana to 
have circular logic up. Yep, doesn't give them a treasure, which is good. If they kill one, oh, weather storm, that's fine. Crypt rats. It's a little annoying. I've got to discard two cards to counter it with circular logic. but I'd rather it not be in play. Right, now I can counter it. At least Deep Analysis is like a free card. Although I really need to remember that I need to discard another card because they can just pay two. So I guess one of the inside outs is gone. Ah, uh, that's annoying. So this is one of the times where I wish I had Squadron Hawk. Uh, I guess I keep the Preordain. Oh, then I'm just going to see. It's just going to put two lands on the bottom. Well, I guess that's fine. I've got, to, I've got to try to get the white out. That's the way I win. I'm getting another rats in my future. Oh, just a relic. Okay. Like, relic isn't terrible. It was a bit annoying that I got rid of my, um... I can't remember what it's called now. Bottom, bottom. There's the whiteout. Uh, so I just need one more turn. Because each land gives me four toughness. Yeah, that should be enough. They've just got so many cards in hand now, though. <laughs> and like a, um, a one mana way to counter my counter spell. I gotta wait till they tap out.
Edict is fine. Edict is fine. <laughs> It is also fine. So they've got possibly snuff out up. Let's just see if this resolves. All right, tack in. This is my chance. May as well make it work. And one more. So we'll try and white out. And that'll be 18. One snuff out. Dark Ritual. Rot Row. Do I try and counter Dark Ritual? I... I guess so? Might be just a bait, but I need the mana, and I because they can just exile my graveyard, and it makes all my circular logics useless. So it's like they got to pop the relic. I sack a land to get the white out back, but then I only have so that I can sack the other two lands to be able to put two cards in my graveyard. So then they can't pay for either of these circular logics. Tribe does not want to go up against uh, snuff out decks. <laughs> as long as they've got nothing in hand. I should be fine. There goes the relic. So we white out, bring this back. Let the relic resolve. And then we discard this. Uh, sack of land to get this back. And then discard it again. Now they need to pay two for the Dark Ritual.
and they need to pay two for the snuff yet. Well, three. Now that the second circular logic is there. And then we'll see if I get snuffed out again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look at that damage. Didn't even need to make it unblockable because they drew no creatures. Okay. So I think taking out the strands was a good idea. So maybe I don't even need another one. Like the fine for crypt rats I guess but I'm bringing in a pile of things just to eat the edicts anyway so I might bring in a dispel and we'll see how this goes um, uh, a mid-range hand this will be interesting I'll keep this no tribe, no inside out, but I've got a lot of things that just will make them annoyed. Oh no, not my preordain. That's all I had going for me. Well, they could white, like get rid of the white out and then exile it. Because it's the thing that just gives you that huge toughness boost. But I doubt it. I'd get rid of the Preordain. Yeah. Because I'm just going to go Inspector into Preordain next turn. So I'm instead going into uh, Inspector into... Uh, Island into Cycle. A crypt rats here will be very sad, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Yep, and I just slam it, which is fair. So, I don't think I need the white out, so we'll just brainstorm. And there's a tribe, so let's just dump. These two. Plan Archaeologist. And if there's nothing else, I get the white out back. So now I really need to dig for that. Now that I don't have any prismatic strains, I've got to really go for that. Um, whatever it's called. At least I got the whiteout back. Before the Bajuka Bog came down. Uh, let's... We're going to crack a clue. Well, this is the inside out. Which doesn't really help with this still in play. I might sweep my board clear next turn. That's one way to get rid of the rats. I'll take a deep analysis. Spring is fine. Visionary, okay. And that stops me beating down with the one twos. Let's just draw some cards. Find nothing. Pass. Another visionary? Yep. I 
sure. <laughs> sure. Uh, <laughs> uh, unblockable thing would be pretty cool, just to steal the monarchy. Ponder first. No unblockableness. Acolyte's pretty cool, though. I don't know how they deal with that, so I guess I try to get that into play. Might sweep, so I need to keep one up. Just in case if there's an edict. Uh, yeah, this is fine. And then I can try and tribe next turn. Might as well attempt to draw a card. Let's try and draw some more lands. Oh, the wedding invitation is pretty funny. I've got two tribes, so maybe I'll try and just bait out some removal spells. Need to play a land is what I really need. Let's see if I can find one. Did not find a land. Um... Guess I put back. Don't need white out just yet. I don't need a second inside out. I'll play a tribe. It can bite the dust if it needs to. Yep, that's fine. I mean, that's annoying, but I've got bucket loads of cards, so it doesn't really matter to me too much. It's just the abundance of removal spells is what concerns me. That's also a little annoying. Never really found any like protection other than the obsidian, Ac obsidian acolyte, obviously, but it dies to Crip Rat Sweep plus. Edict. Um, I might just because I know there's a whiteout on top. Might just deep analysis now. 
I'm going to try to find another land. I brainstorm locked myself. I don't want either of these. Oh, that's also not great. I guess I play a wedding invitation. I'm fine if they wreck, if they sweep me. They sweep their entire board as well. Oof, okay. This is not good. Well, I mean, it's not terrible. Just got three cards. Okay, now they're sweeping the board clean. Yep. Another weather storm? <laughs> okay. Uh, discard this, discard an inside out. I guess I discard a deep analysis. Now there'll be a duress. No, oh, no, just relic. Okay. So long graveyard, I guess. Yep. Okay, we'll try Tribe plus Acolyte. Whoops. Probably should have just played Thraven Inspector. Uh, yeah, okay. And now this will get Edict. They've got too much cards in hand and too much mana. I can't really do much at this point. And too much life. Just been out grinded. Yeah, another relic's a bit annoying. Actually, I'll just I'll just concede. I can't. I can't get the circular logics are not good with the relic in play. I used up too many resources and they gained too much life, so I didn't really have a chance to come back there. All I needed to do was. Remember, the Llanowar Visionary could tap for minor in game one, and I would have had it. So, game two was pretty cool. I played that pretty well. So, yep, it is what it is. We'll try the next one. All right, round two versus Kenny Korea. Uh, this is an okay hand. We will keep... Hey, they're a fan. Telling them that they may be in a video, so we'll see how this goes. Triple Tribe is not great. Okay. Let's see how Kenny does. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna just start with a ponder. And see what this game plan entails. Uh, I guess this is fine. Got land, a turn to play, and then a way to try to dig us out of this hole.
It didn't really matter which way I put that, as long as I didn't put the wedding invitation down the bottom. And it looks like we're going to up against land destruction. So do I keep up the spell pierce? I think I will. Oh, but if I am, I can just play the tribe. Nice black bordered wild growth. Uh, I guess that's fine. I'm red. Yep, okay. Alright, well, the holding up spell pierce worked. Do I play wedding invitation? Or do I try to dig for... So if I got inside out, I just win, right? Uh, hmm. I don't. Uh, I'll need white out if I don't get anything else. So I'll have four cards. I don't need the land anyway. I guess I'll keep it. It saves me against Scred. And it saves me against like anything else. So I think that's correct. Alright, expecting a Monvuli Acid Moss. Yeah, okay. Well, can't let that resolve. Another Elf is annoying. But fine. Strands has uses I think I'm going to play a tribe archaeologist I'm going to play another tribe I've got the white out now so I don't need to keep the cards in hand And I'll tack in. If they acid moss me, there is some amount of logic to like discarding white out, sacrificing it so they don't get the extra land as some weird ass tech. <laughs> At this point, all I'm looking for is the inside out. I'm expecting a um, boarding party in my immediate future. Yep. Are we getting a dinosaur or a boarding party? Dinosaur. Okay. Please, no land destruction. Oh. Into the boarding party. That's the dream. Into the five drop. That's even more of the dream. Jeez.
I'll take six. Inside out? No, archaeologist. Try to find the inside out. Get nothing. <laughs> oh, that's rough. All right, I got one more turn. Uh, acid moss. I mean, I may as well counter it, right? I'm losing a land, which is losing four toughness, so I may as well just discard a card so they don't get... So I keep my land. It's all a lot of damage also. Do I just just block this one? Go to one. <laughs> okay, land blown up again. No wrenching out. Okay. Oh, that makes me lose five life. Yeah, okay, fair. How far was the inside out away? Too far. Okay. Um. I don't think I really. I can bring in hydros, I guess, because they'll probably bring in pyroblasts. But I felt like the the deck's fine. I've just got to hit the inside out. I'm going to leave I'm going to leave the deck as is. All right, yes, I would like to go first. Ah, oh, try plus inside out. Uh yeah, we can keep this. Might even get the two, two turn two kill. As long as they don't play an Arbor Elf. Well, if they do, they're not going to block anyway, right? Alright, well, we'll see if it works. Yep, yeah, alright. Sometimes you just get lucky. Easy. Turn two victories. <laughs> All right. Well, it's it's not gonna it's not gonna be that easy anymore. But that's it. Just shows you like what this deck can do. Uh oh, man. Deck's deck's perfect, mate. Wins on turn two every time. We gotta keep it. Gotta keep it as is. Okay, not a great hand, but we got a lot of ways to sift through, so we'll keep. I expect not to have more than two land at any one point, so this might present a problem. All right, on to first. Uh, I don't think I want anything here. At this point, I'm just I'm looking for both tribe and inside out. I'm not going to play my planes until I, because I've only got three, so I'm not going to play it until I draw the tribe. All 
and we'll see if I get turn two acid most from one turn two victory to another. Going to combat. Interesting. Visionary, okay. That's fine. At least my land survived this time. Alright, ponder. If I see a um ugh. I don't want either of this. I don't want any of this. And yeah, I keep drawing one of the cards I see every time. Uh, tribe is good. Preordain is also good. So we'll keep the tribe. I might even play it. Actually, I will, so then I can circular logic. Alright. Uh, am I getting acid most? Ooh. Okay, I'm getting initiative Oh, they don't have any red sources. Yeah, okay. Fair. So let's play the tribe. Play a preordain. There is another tribe which I do not need. I'm just looking for inside out. But maybe I keep the land. So then I can at least deep analysis if I need to. I've got enough. I think I need the land. Yep. Let the race begin. Ooh, tapping out. Boarding party? Sure. We'll see what it cascades into. Another avenging hunter. Jeez. I think I want to counter that one. I'm fine with the boarding party because I think I want to attack. So therefore, all I need to do is dig deep to try to find the... Maybe I counter the boarding party because then everything else is green. So then I can just strands the next turn. Hmm. If I had, if I had the inside out, I'd obviously counter the Avenging Hunter. Because then they'd feel inclined to attack. But since I don't... I haven't played any land destruction. So I can, like, just play strands for green next turn. I think I like that. I'm sure they hit me for five with the monarchy, but that's fine. I could discard a strands now and absorb it all. And I've got five cards in hand. I think I'm fine for now to take this. It does put me very low, though. I 
Well, there's the inside out. So is that lethal? If I play this, waiting for shit. Yeah, okay. It should get me there. That draws me a card. Inside out draws me a card. So that means I've got five cards in hand, which is exactly twenty-one. Oh, and I draw the white out. <laughs> Even better. Get there. All right. Beat the land destruction deck with no land destruction. Game three. Woo. All right. Thank you for watching, Kenny. Uh, I hope you don't feel too bad if this does get posted. <laughs> uh, I got a two. That was, that was some pretty cool games for me, at least. I mean, and they. That first game was a bit rough just not drawing that last inside out so woohoo all right uh on to the next one all right round three versus the rabbins uh yes we would like to go first that is a lot of lands it'd be solved somewhat with a brainstorm but i can't just this, is like, this deck runs 19 lands i can't justify keeping a five land hand and now i know land hand well, maybe I should have kept the five lander. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, so we keep an Ash Barons because we've got two brainstorms. And yeah, we can get rid of the whiteout. Uh, and we get a plane, get an island straight away. And then we can brainstorm and inspector. I have no idea what this deck could be. Inspector. Brainstorm. Uh, yeah. I don't think I want either of these. And I'll put a stop on my upkeep to get rid of them. Up against White Weenie. I don't know what a deck that plays a planes that doesn't play anything on turn one. Uh, Boros Initiative. Boros, yeah, maybe. Or Orzov. Right, let's get a island. Wedding invitation, might as well play that. Another Ash Barons. Works well with the Brainstorm. Okay, Ors of Ors of Ephemerate. Nice to know that I have to try to avoid cast downs. Uh I'm fine to draw this card. Maybe I didn't want it. <laughs> uh let's brainstorm again. Um, I've got the archaeologist. Do I use that to? But I want to cycle this before I play this anyway. Hmm. <laughs> I guess I don't. I don't want strands. I guess I don't want the Ash Barons either. I'm only running like two brainstorms. So I'm not like really gonna get any more usage out of it. And then I get the strands back, even though I don't really want it. It still adds to my card collection. Clog the board. Next turn's preordained plus clue. 
options. Nothing. I am very confused. Let's preordain first. Uh, inside out is good. Circular logic is also good. Uh, I wouldn't mind some like more raw card advantage, but I do need a counter spell because they are running removal. So I guess I need to keep both. And then I assume they're going to ephemerate. So I'll just attack with the two inspectors. Yeah, block one, flicker it. That's fine. Then they'll probably play a big five drop. Perfectly fine. There it is. Okay, so I need to hope that they don't have two removal spells. So we'll just hope for the best. I'll keep up more than what I need to just to freak them out. Inspect is fine. Choose up mana, which is what I want. Take three. Pass. Now's their opportunity to kill it if they want. Vendetta. All right, well, we'll try and save it. Wait. Why am I doing that? I could have just killed them. That's pretty funny. I got played. I got played so hard. Jeez. Haven't seen Vendetta in years. And look, I get all the I get all the answers now. All I had to do was like discard everything to make its toughness huge and then they would have died. But they would have tried to ping it again and then I would have like circular logic then. Oh man. I feel bamboozled. Got to hope for another tribe now. <laughs> These strands aren't helping. <laughs> I mean, they could. I might. I might even play a strand just the name Black. I'll wait for them to attack first. Just so then I don't die to a pile of flickered vampire sovereigns. I'm too used to just, oh, any removal spell. Just go, oh, yeah, I need to protect myself from that. Not one that would actually kill them. <laughs> oh, man. 
I'll know for next time. Yeah, down to eight. But I guess I flash back naming white. All right, let's see if we can draw out of this. No, didn't draw out of it. Oh well, I'm just going to get beaten down by the one Vampire Sovereign. That's why it's the best card in the deck. Yep, got another flicker. Yep, okay, that's fine. Okay, we will bring in the instant speed removal. I don't think strands matters. And we'll bring in the Acolytes. I'll take out one Inspector. Yeah. And... Take out a Circular Logic, because they're going to bring in Relic. They always do. And I've got Dispels in now, so... There's a new Circular Logic. Uh, a Four Lander. With one part and a cantrip wedding invitation. Yeah, I guess we'll keep. The first turn will be getting an island, so I don't draw any more lands, hopefully. And then second turn, I'll just play the Witting Invitation. Ooh, turn one, Inspector. That's what I wanted. It's not great, but I'll keep it in case I draw a Brainstorm or a Ponder. There's the Tribe. Okay, so I've got Tribe, Unblockable, Inside Out, and a Counter Spell to save it. So, as long as I don't have two removal spells in hand, I should be fine. Oh no, because they played a tap land, I only need one... I only need to survive one turn now. Of no removal spell. And I'm going to keep everything else in hand. So then I can use the Dispel... Yeah, yeah that's, that's all I need. So they shouldn't have two ways to interact before next turn. If they've got, um, if they've got Edict, <laughs> that'll really teach me, which they probably do. I guess I play a land. And I'll play a Ponder. But Spell Pierce will save me from that. So, go Winning Invitation, Brainstorm, Spell Pierce. Cool. Alright, so now we should be fine no matter what they play. And they're on 21. If they play a Scoured Barons... ...and then a removal spell. That's my issue. 
I don't think getting an extra clue helps you at this point in time. Edict? Yeah, okay, I saved myself. Thank Christ. Just no scoured barons. Excellent, okay. It means we should have this. Should have exactly 21. Okay, unblockable. And then just discard five cards. Sweet. Okay. Well, the four land hand got us there, so that's always nice to see. And now remember that they've got Edict. <laughs> Maybe Circular Logic's good against the Edict. So maybe I'm better off with only two dispels. Uh, oh, they've mulliganed. This isn't terrible. I'm on the draw. I'll keep. I'm missing, like, all the crucial parts. But, like, a Brainstorm turn might be pretty good. Or a Ponder. Or a Tribe. What do I start with? Uh, get a Plains. I guess the Acolyte's pretty bad when I've only got... Ugh. I guess we're just Inspector. And then I can, like... I don't know. Tribe. <laughs> Hope they don't have a removal spell. That's fine. I'll even trade it off if they want. Oh, there we go. Am I going to lock myself? There's a ponder there. Um, I'm thinking maybe playing a tribe. Just to see... I won't shuffle. I can, like, ponder shuffle away later. I just want to see what they've got. If I get a white out, light doesn't matter. Uh, life doesn't matter. you got to keep back to block, which is nice. So, I've drawn that one land, so I guess I preordain getting rid of that one land. And I guess I keep the white out. I guess I don't really need it. Oh, they are gaining a lot of life. I guess I'll take it. Land. Uh. Hmm. Do I acolyte now? And I've still got dispel up. Yeah. Okay. I'll acolyte. And then I'll pass. Do 
I dispel that. It does stop them from drawing two cards. Yeah, it's fine. I've got I've got another tribe in hand, so. <laughs> what is these cards? Sure. See what comes out. Initiative. Okay. And they play the land too. So I'm still missing two pieces, so it's not that scary. Oh, that's all terrible. That's okay, I guess. Inside out. Brainstorm's fine. So I'll brainstorm. I need an inside out. So I guess I want to shuffle. I need to keep the white out, and I guess I don't need blacksmith skill because I've got this. And I'll do it in my upkeep when I've got mana spare. And I'll let them hit me. Ooh, scrying too. Need to find that removal spell. You can attack with both. I'll take it. That's fine. The only thing that scares me is Journey to Nowhere. Another Goliath Paladin? Sure. <laughs> okay, I need a way to get through and the, and the inside out, so I've still got not that many. I'm still two things away from getting there. Edict? Uh, sure. And they're tapped out, so I guess I'll just do this now. Save me on mana. And I'll get another white, so I can have double Acolyte. Conda's good. None of these are good. Prudane's good. Good. Do I keep up circular logic? I don't think it matters. I guess I'd take the inspector. And do I play it? Sure.
The problem with combo decks when you need like three to four cards for it to operate. How much is that? Guess I can block with an inspector. Another edict. There's another inspector. And then is there another edict? There is, they might have got me. Then they can have like Edict plus cast down. And they're like Edict, so I try to give this pro black, and then they cast it down. That's fine. Waiting, oh well, there's half of it. And there's the other half. Okay. How much mana do I need? So... Do I Obsidian Acolyte? I guess I Obsidian Acolyte. Alright, it's got protection from black. So now I can inside it out. So the only thing that really gets me is um prismatic strands. So hopefully that's not what they have. Just second a thing all the way. Twenty five. Then I guess it doesn't really matter. And then attack in. And they take it. Excellent. Whew. I'm still really annoyed at myself about the Vendetta play. <laughs> that would have been so great to get on camera. Instead, I just look like a fool. Oh, well. Um, shame it didn't come up again. But uh, we got the win anyway. So thank God for that. I'm very happy with myself. We'll see what happens in the next one. All right, round four versus Kid Renan on the draw. I feel like they're usually on red, but this hand's pretty good. It's got two of the combo pieces. I just need the way to get it unblockable. Uh, I also have white and blue mana and a couple of ways to dig for anything. So we will definitely keep this. They are on affinity. Ooh. I am going to try and go for the turn two. So, like, if they try and, well, like, if they try and Galve Blast it, I can just discard a card and then win anyway, so. But if they tap out for a, um, a Equal Wellspring, like they usually do, then I just kill them. Which is what they've done. Get another turn two kill. We're having a good time. Good time. Oh, look, more inside outs. I am up. <laughs> I am somewhat sorry, bro, but not really. I will take the wins where I can. 
And bang. Victory. Well, there's not really much to say about there, except uh, if you disrespect the tribe, you get tribbin or something. Uh, what to do against affinity. As you can tell, I don't have a lot of artifact hate because there's too much, like, involved with the combo. So we need to bring in things that deal with red because that's mostly what their interaction is. And that's about it. So we'll bring in Crimson Acolytes and probably a couple of Hydra Blasts. And we will take out a strands. Because strands are still oh they run they run a decent amount of graveyard hate. But strands are still fine against them. I think I can cut Do I wanna cut spell pierce? I think I want to cut a circular logic. And I guess an inspector. One of the Crimson Acolytes. Uh, what else? So we'll put to the side. So we brought in these. And we're taking out these. But I just need to cut one more card. Which might actually... Oh, I like Spell Pierce against Deadly Dispute decks because they get pretty greedy with the disputes. Let me get rid of an archaeologist. I keep the inspector. Let me get rid of both archaeologists. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to showing my sideboards that often. Even though I've done, what, like... 14 videos now? I should really count them. Uh, oh, look. It's a turn two victory again. Well, we'll keep this. I don't think they're going to fall for it again. But you never know. Excellent. Okay. They've, they've learnt their lesson. And now they've kept up. Something. <laughs> I don't know what. And I think I'm going to play the Wedding Invitation. If they've got a cast down, then congratulations. But at least this time they kept the mana up to make me concerned. That's pretty good. And they pass again. Because they've got to keep up. They've got to have... Ah, yeah, okay, that's fine. That's what the blacksmith skill's for. Alright, we'll preordain. Yeah, second tribe and a second inside out. Do I just keep both of those? So then if one plan fails, we try again. I like it. But I will... Make it double inside out and only one tribe.
Do I attack? I guess it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll see. I'll see how game they are to block. And they got another deadly dispute that they want to use. That's also fine. You hit me for one. That's cool. Not play anything. Um, I mean, I might as well. Oh, no, I might draw a brainstorm. Strands. Okay. Hmm. I need one more turn. And then I'm going to be happy with whatever I can do, because then I can do, like, double inside out. So if they counted me the first time, I can just play another one. And then I've got the blacksmith skill for the Heart Clan Shaman. Get in there. I expect another deadly dispute. Nothing. That's what you want to see from Affinity. And a basic island. Okay, well... I don't know what they could have, but I've got... nearly everything I need now. Um, I think I'm just gonna... I'll get another white, I guess, just in case. Okay, so now we inside out first. What do I blacksmith skill first? I th ooh. yeah, we we inside out first. Because now I've got Tribe plus Flashback Prismatic Strands as an option as well. Which might actually be worth doing first. No, but then I need... Like, if they got Pyroblast, then I can't double Inside Out. So I have to Inside Out first. And if that resolves, then I can try to resolve another tribe to do, like, the strands plus skill route to stop the shaman. Yep, so there's the negate. So now I can blacksmith skill this. 
So now they've got a client clan shaman. So I have to sacrifice like all five, but I've got whiteouts for days. So I can just, every time they do one, I can buff the toughness up. Does one, I do one, they'll do one, and then it'll do that until they run out of artifact lands. And then strands. And they get one more. And then I white out. Bring it back. Because they could, like, sack another one in response to the white out. And then I'd just be sacking lands to try to get back the white out without actually discarding. Which I guess doesn't really matter because I'll get them eventually and then I can discard them all. Boom, boom, boom. So now I've got to wait till the blacksmith skill resolves. So now it's indestructible. So now I can inside out it. And then I can make it unblockable. And then I can discard this card in my hand. And then I can go to combat. And kill them. Easy. Alright, with 3-1. Let's see if I can get uh, the nice 4-1. Otherwise, I'm happy enough with a 3-2. Uh, <laughs> considering some of the games I've played. <laughs> All right, round five versus Barira, 96. Uh, we have three lands, a couple of things to dig, like one of the combat pieces, so we can keep this. I'm expecting red. Don't think we played red, have we? Another affinity, okay. No turn two win this time, sadly. The affinity matchup really relies on blacksmith skill <laughs> because of this card. Um, I think I'm going to just hold up spell pierce and then crack the clue if nothing happens. I'm happy enough just to keep it back to block at this point. I guess I guess I guess I got prismatic strands as well, so I just need to try to resolve the strands before I attack in, or before I try to like combo off. I think I just want to counter this. It's nothing impressive, but it does. Like, put them on the back foot. Especially when they don't have another land. <laughs> Wedding invitation. Oh, well, the blacksmith skill. So now I just need the tribe. I'm fine with not attacking. They don't really gain much life. And I've got the white out in hand anyway, even if they do. Munitions is fine. It's the same as the shaman. Uh, hmm. 
a preordain or just deep analysis now? I think I just deep anal. Deep analysis. Draw more cards. Get more gas. Double blue. You don't have enough artifacts if you're trying to cast the um <laughs> gear seeker. This ball bomb is probably gonna crack it so they don't deep analysis. No? Well in that case I'm definitely using the deep analysis now. There's a strands. Give me a land, please. Alright, uh, well I guess I ponder. And shuffle. That's fine, I guess. And then play a wedding invitation. A bit low on blue sources, which is weird. That's all my planes. Hmm. Do I discard here? I feel like they're going to crack the spell bomb no matter what, but I guess I just discard the strands anyway because I want to keep everything else. Oh, they're going to do a damage. And then. Oh, Deadly Dispute? Yeah, okay. That is fine by me. Don't get the draw card value. Alright, next turn will be preordain into hoping to find a tribe. What do you got? Kenku. Kenku does not matter to me. I'm making my guy unblockable, so... Gonna start attacking him for three. No, okay. Strands. Okay, let's preordain. Tribe, please. There we go. Even evolving worlds. Uh, let's just play the tribe. And I guess that's good enough. I can play the inspector next turn. Oh, I'll play the inspector now. All right, I feel like I've got enough in the tank here that I shouldn't need to worry too much about what they're doing. Especially if they do things like that. Okay, fine. And I'm not going to crack a clue, because I don't need to. Okay, so I guess we just start by... They've got a spell pierce thing good on them. Uh, I guess I... Start with making this not be able to be shot down by the shaman. I'm expecting a sack of the wellspring. Oh, okay. So now I can just inside out without fear. And 
then I attack in. I'm so confused why they didn't even try. Maybe they just don't know. The f <laughs> they don't fear the 1-1. One, one. Well, that's a... That is an error in judgment. You should always fear the 1-1. One, one. There we go. Okay. Another affinity win. One more game to go. So we'll do the same as what we did last time with the double red. We take out one strands, the double archaeologist, and one circular logic. Uh, one piece, couple of draw cards. We'll keep this. All right, let's start by inspecting this mess. Don't have the spell PS for the turn two wellspring this time. Um, do I acolyte Neil? I probably need to dig more, but we'll we'll try and be aggressive. And then I think next turn I'm just going to inspect a plus clue token. Sure. Maybe I won't inspect it now. Uh, Brainstorm's pretty good when I've got uh, Ash Barons. And there's a Tribe plus a Circular Logic. I just need a way to get unblockable. So I don't need the Island anymore. I don't really need the Strands because I've got Crimson Acolyte. I'm expecting a dispute. Nothing. Okay. Right, let's get rid of the cards at the top of my library. Now the planes. So I can use the Acolyte more. I'm just going to attack in again. Uh, do I play Tribe yet? I feel like there's a counter spell in my future. And they didn't dispute or anything last turn, so they're just holding up because they're freaking out about the Tribe. So I think I'm going to play this Planes, play another Inspector, and try to just be aggressive with the one ones. Oh, now they've got a dispute. Okay.
just drawing a pile of cards. There's an enforcer. Well, the one ones can't get in anymore. Spell pieces is cool. Hydro Blast is also cool to get rid of this thing. I just don't have a way to get through just yet. Well, there's a tribe. Hmm. Let's get another island. I want to... I want to make it so they're unblockable. So I don't want to do it just yet. Like maybe I should have kept the evolving wilds in case I drew a, <laughs> my other brainstorm or a ponder. Not attacking, good option. It means we're just both dragging it out. Alright, we'll try the wedding invitation. We'll see if this resolves. Okay. I guess I try and see if I can get it to resolve. Paid the four. Okay. Really got a can of many cards in my graveyard. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Kill the inspectors. Sure. I can't do anything about it. Attack with one. I can take it. I guess I play a tribe. And pass. <laughs> At least they can only keep hitting me in with one enforcer. Sure. Yep. I guess I just pass. And I guess relying on, like, one way to get through is a bit rough. So we'll try again. The Acolyte's not that great. Yeah, I am better with circular logic. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go back to the... I like Hydro Blast because it can kill the shamans on their turn. For one lander, I can't keep. This is fine. Uh... 
Uh, I need the skill. I guess I'm just playing Thraven Inspector. Don't really want to play a tribe out first because it's just going to get like wrecked. <laughs> Even if I do draw the um, inside out. Well, I actually, I'll be a card short. So. Might just crack the clue. Let's do it now. Then I can ponder evolving worlds and try if I want to. Hmm, I don't think I want any of these. I need Inside Out or the other thing. Get another planes? I'll get a planes. More likely to draw an island. The unblockable thing. So now that I've got the tribe out, they've got to be on their toes. So they've got to either get a blocker or keep up removal the entire time. And they didn't draw a land. That's rough. Oh, I just got a mirror enforcer. Oh, they don't have black. They can't. They can't deadly dispute. Uh, they'll probably counter this, but it gets a counter out of their hand. Sure. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stops the future strands. All right, you got to keep up negate. Uh, so, I guess I just flash back the deep analysis. And now I can play a wedding invitation. Which they should let... Re well, they might not let resolve. Right out. So all I need is the inside out, and I've got no card draw left. I mean, I had, what, a Thraven Inspector and a Ponder, and that's all I've had. Oh, the Wedding Invitation was a can trip, I guess. Shaman. I will attempt to Hydroblast. Inside out? I've got the Spell Pierce, so... like it's just the the waiting game I'm keeping that up for strands and to possibly improve the clock uh <laughs> sure I'm 
Okay. So they've sacked that. So I guess I will discard a whiteout. We'll see if they sack anything else. I mean, I'll discard a land, it's pretty useless. Goodbye, Shaman. Did you get your black source? Not a black source, okay. Just keep getting in there. There's the black source. Gear Seeker? Wellspring, okay. Come on, inside out. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I can't have that many more lands. I would love a cantrip. Ah, yeah, that's annoying. I've still got one left. Okay, come on, give me something. That's fine. Strands is useless. I might need the other land. So let's just get rid of those two cards we just put there. That's fine. This will at least stop the next edict. And I don't need white up, so I can play this. And then I've got spell pierce and circular logic up. Another edict? Oh, uh, card draw. Do I stop that? I don't think I do. I just got to stop the removal. And I don't want to draw a card here. Preordain. Inside out. Inside out. I'll take both. If one doesn't find it, the other one will, right? Okay, there we go. Do I have enough blue sources? So I'll have a Spell Pierce and a Circular Logic. And a Blacksmith Skill. But they've probably got two counter spells. So I think I want to just put this one on top, then this one, then this one. And then we'll just pass. And I'll crack the clue. And then brainstorm and shuffle, get a blue, and hopefully that should be enough to get me there. I 
I'm surprised they're not attacking. I've got the wedding invitation, so I don't they don't need to have a blocker. Okay, that's quite annoying. Because that shuts off circular logic. Somewhat. I've got the white out, so it doesn't really matter too much. I guess it's fine. Okay, let's brainstorm. Uh, that gets rid of one of them out of the hand, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Then we'll convert this to a blue. So then I'll have circular logic plus spell pierce. Is that enough? I mean, probably not. I guess we'll ponder. There's a second circular logic, which might be good enough. Or a second inside out might also be good enough. So I guess I can do it this way. So now I've got two circular logics and a spell pierce. That should, the three things should be enough, surely. So if I get a, now I can get a blue. Play the inside out. Two mana. Yeah, okay. So now we can circular logic. They can sack the Nihil spell bomb, but that doesn't really matter. They scoop. They don't even try the Nihil spell bomb. Okay. Woo! 4 1. With a deck I haven't played in ages and has not been seen in quite a while, so it's pretty good. No red, which might have been why we did alright, but I mean the black deck was also pretty rough. Uh, so yeah, well, let's go and talk about how we did. Alright, so how'd we do? Ended up 4-1, which is pretty good after the first round loss. Uh, so yeah, lost our black gardens and then we beat Two lots of affinity at the end there. Uh, we beat an Orzhov Ephemerate, and we beat uh, Grill Land Destruction from an avid follower. Uh, so, what do I think of the deck? Uh, deck's cool. We've got two turn two wins, <laughs> which was <laughs> a little unexpected, but uh, we'll, I mean, you take them when you can get them. Uh, the games where we lost, we just could not find an inside out. Uh, so this is this is what happens with combo decks. I mean, you need some amount of combo, so you need this plus this, and then usually the wedding invitations. So that's three cards, and then uh, white out usually as another one as well, because you don't have enough cards in hand by that point in the time. So, and then against affinity, you usually need this as well. Except I don't think we did. We needed it one game. So. Do I think this is good in the current meta? I am not too sure. I don't know. Like, the only pilot I knew was Heisen, and he's the one who beat me on a a, a deck full of removal. So decks would snuff out uh, what this deck is scared of. So, yeah, it's like the deck's fine against red because it runs like main deck strands, but we didn't get to see any, so I can't really prove that point. 
uh, I've yeah. So we didn't see the, the, the reasons why we lost is because we didn't see particular things. So what we probably need is like just more dig. So there's two, three, four um, cantrip suite. It might not be enough. I, I definitely think we need the two deep analysis. We just need to be able to like get cards at some point. And being able to discard it with the Talus Tribe just to pay the two mana when we're stuck on lands is also pretty gas. Like maybe circular, like maybe we don't need this much interaction. Maybe we can cull one of these and maybe like the archaeologists uh like the other the elder decks only ran three Thraven Inspector. I'm running four just because it helps cast strands, it helps sacrifice the edicts, and it replaces itself later. Which is pretty much what the archaeologist does. It just costs one less to replace itself. But you and it also like helps with brainstorm and ponder when you've got cards on top that you don't want. So it helps get rid of them. Especially like white out. You never really need that in your hand. So like maybe I cut uh, maybe we cut the archaeologists and replace them with brainstorms because we got all these shuffle effects. The brainstorm's actually not that bad. I did like spell pierce. Spell pierce is really bringing it, coming into its own after terror became a thing. Uh, unsure, unsure which way to go. The three planes seems correct. Sometimes you feel like you need another land. We did mulligan a bit, but. Uh, it's it's hard to criticize when you do well. Maybe I should do worse <laughs> sometimes, and that gives me more to talk about at the end here. Uh, I th didn't see any fog, so the flaring pan didn't matter. I didn't see any fairies, so the like, trickery didn't matter. Dispel and hydrobus, like maybe, maybe dispel just should be spell pierce. It's because edicts. Edicts really get you. It's running so much gas. Unsure. I mean, I'm I'm just terribly sad that I didn't get the vendetta kill. I did. I don't know why. I just didn't see it at the time. I was just too scared of removal, and that just made me sad the entire run, even though we went full one. So I hope you all enjoyed, and remember to never try to vendetta a Talos tribe. <laughs>